to do. Children will return to the upper levels or have no expletive dinner. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> dinner. Hey there everyone, it has been a while. Not just about me doing videos, but Doctor Who in general. I had been hospitalized um, the past couple of weeks, but now I am back and hopefully getting back into the grind. My eyes are still a bit red if you can see from the video. But anyway, we've got Doctor Who finally back and it is called season one, which Shruti Gatwa was 16th Doctor, right? And I'm just really excited to watch Shruti Gatwa as the Doctor. So without further ado, let's get into it. And I think it's called episode two. So the last one, the one where we were introduced with Ruby was episode one. So this is episode two. So let's get into it. And it's called Space Babies. Oh, and there are two ep there were two new episodes, Space Babies and The Devil's Chord. I can probably just react to the, the Space Babies. Okay, straight into the theme song. Nice. Oh, Shuri Gatwa. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, are we like coming straight off of the last episode where she enters for the first time? I already apologize in advance for being super forgetful. Oh, okay, so it looks like she's expecting it and she's still like, it still is amazing. Or no, this is from last episode. Who are you? <laughs> I'm the doctor. Oh, girl. It's called the TARDIS. <laughs> oh, I love it. Nice. They're kind of posh. They use titles like the doctor or the bishop or the Rani. Oh, I love this. So once I landed in 1963, and they used to have police boxes on street corners. 1963? Yeah. Okay. I love it. I love this world building for okay. Ruby. The planet. My world is What's your name? Right, Ruby. Yeah, and where's that? Gone. Ruby is gone. It's gone. Ooh. Some sorrow there. I am the last of the Time Lords. And, and we're I back to last so of the Time Lords. So because glad. the Master made them all. Cyber Time Lord. I am of two minds of this new screwdriver. 150 million years in the past. No. Really? No, you got to be kidding. You are kidding. Don't be so ridiculous. So dinosaurs? Are there dinosaurs out there? I don't know. Or saurians. What if I change history by stepping on a butterfly or something? Well, that's not going to happen, is it? Who steps on butterflies? You actually have to be like... <laughs> <laughs> oh yes we got a budget <gasps> holy fudge holy oh my god if you have made an incorrect accusation I will have to kill you no 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 holy shit it's like Mavity all over again, except worse. I guess he still has some regenerative power. Am I missing something? Let's try that again, okay? <laughs> it is so dangerous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, a good reminder, I guess, to us. I love this fabulous shirt. Okay. To the future. And into a spaceship. That would be my world colliding. But still it's like a police box. Oh, it's uh it's broken. Most of the universe is knackered. Okay. 
<laughs> no truer words. Most of the universe is knackered. <laughs> okay. Holy. Okay, we're having cameras. Creep factor 1000. Very predator. It was new. I love meeting new things, so why did it give me the shivers? Is he getting to know himself? Oh. Okay, dystopia. Baby farm. What? Yeah. <laughs> There's something with the babies. Hey, okay. One last time. Push the button. Push the button. Hashtag push the button. This is giving me Rose and Nine. In episode one, was it? No, episode two. But I don't have a job either. Oh, he's got a job purpose. keeping the universe oh, running. That's why I keep moving forward. To see the next thing, and the next, and the next. I love this freshness that Sometimes, Shooty's giving. It looks even better through your eyes. And that's why he's got a host of companions. <laughs> they speak English here. English exists. Uh, no, 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 no. Humans all speak one language by this point. A bit like Cantonese. Uh, um. This. Is what it really looks like. Oh. The TARDIS translates. It's got a perception filter, so it helps. I love, I love this world building. Right, am I like, this oh. eases, like, even new people in. It's got to be a crew or a captain. It's just like reporting from Berto 6. I keep getting these temperature problems. Holy shit. <laughs> We've been waiting for an awfully long time. Oh. How long have they been waiting? Oh, oh. no. This is so intriguing, like... Space babies! <laughs> and that's the title. But they've been waiting for a long time. Are they like held in stasis? Holy f... Okay, how many babies did they actually have? Because they look real. What is up with the babies? Seriously. So cute. This this baby actor is like, no, I don't want to talk about it. It's not as creepy as I thought it would be. I'm loving this is the Ruby and the Doctor right now. Oh no, everyone wants a hug. So Poppy, when was the last time that you had a hug? Never. Hmm. It's okay. Come here, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, so this Doctor is not awkward, babies. Because I can absolutely see 13 being like, What the fuck is this? So with 12, so with... All of them would be. But are we wrong? What do you mean? We're not meant to be like this. Did we grow up wrong? Oh. Look at me. Nobody grows up wrong. Oh my god, this is a doctor speech. You are what you are, and that is magnificent. But mommy and daddy left us. That's okay. Mine did too. Well, I was found. Amen. I am absolutely lovely. Aren't I? Oh, I love you, Shooty. There's no one like me in the whole wide universe. No one like me exists. And that's true of everyone. It's not a problem. No. I love how weird, cute, and 
unhinged this is. So, uh, it's, it's, it's you lot, it's Nanny and downstairs. Is that your pet dog? Oh. Yes. Oh my god, Doctor. Oh lord. Oh my god. Naughty Doctor. <laughs> I love that, that moment. I love how Shooty's ass is like... Perfection. But what if helping the babies takes six weeks or ten years? Because my mom's still waiting for me. Asking the important questions. You don't know anything about your birth mother or your father. Ooh, there is a mystery. Or scrap of paper. Very Amelia Pond. Yes. Yes. Is it really snowing? It's snowing. Is... Why? Dice, it's snow and we've got... Snow Is crazy. this real? It's like a memory just came through. Is Ruby real? I have been to the ends of time and back and I have never seen anything like this before. And what does it mean? I don't know. <laughs> Damn, this is an intriguing <laughs> oh, I thought my birth was crazy. Oh, yeah. piece of oh. stuff. What? Is she human? Is she just a memory? I said portal 357. Oh. Don't just stand there yapping, you pair of idiots. Get inside. So we do have grown ups. This is Captain Rico Theaster signing off duty. Oh, Navy Station. I'm loving the Star Trek -y uniform. Close the baby station to save money, but the law says it's illegal to stop the birth machine. <laughs> and she's just been hitting it. Jocelyn Sonsier, I was the on site accountant. I don't know how this place works. Oh, that should recalibrate the whole shebang. Thank you. Uh, Want to swap? <laughs> A real screwdriver. The planet down below will refuse to stop the babies being born, but once they're born, they don't look after them. It's a very strange planet. Ooh. It's not that strange. Ooh. <laughs> you stayed behind. I couldn't leave them. That's a pretty good analogy. And I've been all on my own, watching the kids for six years. Six I years. They are gorgeous. Why would you hide? Because I don't want to see them die. Why I die? I to see me die. Oh, damn. This is a closed station. There's only so much air, there's only so much food. The last thing I'll do is give them the air out of Portal 357. But then... Then that's all that's left. You can. No engines. This great big thing can't move. It means it can take in lots of refugees. Oh! Well, well, can't we call them for help? I don't go fetch refugees. That's the fate of every refugee in the universe. Mm-hmm. And we can't move. But now you have a ship. Lots of, of messages of coming through here. The trouble is, between us and the ship is the bogeyman. Who is this bogeyman? It's not like anything I've ever seen. Okay, the more we see it, the more puppety it looks. What is it? Was I so scared? Because it's terrifying. Yeah, but I've met a million ugly bugs. I'm an ugly bug. That thing made me run. I just wonder why. There's a reason here. This place is completely <laughs> mad, but it sort of makes sense because you've got babies, you've got a nanny, and you've got the bogeyman. You've literally got a monster living down below. Like it's a very story storyline. Story. And every story has a <gasps> Oh shit, who's that? 
but does that mean it's not? Eric, get out of there. Oh, please vacate this area. Oh, oh, there's a filter. Oh. Get out now. I love the filter. For God's sake, run. Invoking the deity. <laughs> Maybe that is what this needed. <gasps> I think there must be something else, right? Where did Eric go, though? Oh, I love Ruby. Love her. Heard you. Okay. Yes, I Ruby. I was very, very little, and I knew the Boogeyman was coming. I would shit in my pants. Because I can detect. Space baby. Oh, Eric. Oh, baby Eric. Holy sh <laughs> Yes, Doctor. Oh, I can't see. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Illegitimate person would be bastard. Oh, yes, Captain Poppy. I love the delight. as the companion and I love the singular focus of the companion seriously because honestly for 13's run the fam was just too much for me <laughs> oh okay are we always there Joss <laughs> oh according to the machine it's baby. What? Front of us, we've been saying it all along. It's all one machine. One up above and one down below. The one up above grew the baby, so one yes. down below. It grew the Pokemon. Yes. I said this, I told you so. Six years ago, the machine is mother and father to the babies and mother and the and father to the Pokemon. Oh, wow. oh shit. Jocelyn said it's like a story. The teaching software is told a story. It invented the Pokemon. For the baby. The space baby. Babies need fiction. They need stories. They need monsters. Okay, that's why it's it like a story. Is, the Pokemon is roaring at 17 hertz. That's exact pitch design. To make you scary oh, is it? And to be. The machine made it tall and big and noisy and it built it out of poop. Doo doo. Oh. Yes. What? Saliva. What? Oh my. <laughs> Tell me what it is. I can't. Doctor. Ruby, I have it's caca. A bogeyman is made out of what? Boog <gasps> Bogies! It's it's is literal and it's a fucking is It's bogers. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck. It's not <laughs> Oh my god, this is disgusting. This is only in a Doctor Who episode. Oh, there it is. But I guess... Shouldn't we just talk to it? Oh, maybe she's gonna eject it? Oh, 
Oh, and it's shedding. Oh. Holy shit. <gasps> shit. Oh, no. Is it gonna die? Think, 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 think. Yeah, because it was created as well as the children. What to do? What to do? Oh my god. For days like this. I'm the only one of me in the whole wide universe. Don't let this end in tragedy. Oh my god. Amen. The only one of his kind. Oxygen field. Oxygen field. Ah! Oh, okay. Another push the button. Push the button. <laughs> With those muscles. Come on, doctor. That's... That's the tag. Push the button. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame Jocelyn. How would she know? We're petting the doggo. Your favorite monster. Is fine. He's probably still looking scary. Oh, it is a dog. No wonder it was stinking down there for six years. A great pile of nanny filter fizz. So, a zillion. I love it. I love this episode so much. I mean, that's a great source. Oh wow, oh wow, of methane. I love you, methane. Oh. This is such a great episode. And you, Ruby Sunday. Such a great companion. Look at this. Yes, you earned it, Ruby Sunday. I have the whole universe. Oh, the offer. I love it. <laughs> Is she gonna say no? We did almost die. Yes, but we lived so much too. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we did, we did, we did. Is she gonna grab it? She's thinking of her mom. Yes. 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 Yes, yes. yes bitch. Yes. yes. Except. Except. Oh, terms and conditions. <laughs> yes. There is one thing that I can never do, and I'll take you to that church. That Christmas. Okay. Absolutely no. I mean, did she even think about it? Oh, because she wants but to know. None of this would ever happen, and we would fall into the deepest, darkest. I mean, very trust Rose and her father. I think that snow was a warning. I can't, and I won't. Good caveat right at the beginning. Because I disagree. And if you let me finish, we are going to go see my mom at Christmas. In the right future. Now. Come on. Oh, yes. <laughs> no word from her since. What sort of Christmas is this? It's still Christmas. It Hold on. Ah, the sound of hope. Oh my god, is it landing in the... Oh god, <laughs> it can't fit. Yes. Yes, now the people from my world, they use titles. Like the bishop, the pedant, the saggy she. Yes. My... And it's snowing inside. Something is up with Ruby Sunday. Okay, I'm not watching the preview. But the Beatles? Lord have mercy. Okay, that was amazing. Like, 
absolutely amazing. I am so in love with Shruti Gatwa's doctor, with Ruby as a companion. Like, this had so many things that are great about Doctor Who, which is the great sci-fi story, the feels, the weird, it's the weird sci-fi stories. And only in Doctor Who would we have a baby farm in space run by babies. Like, I loved it. It's so good. And then I love the layering of this of the of the morals, right? It's not being <laughs> beaten on us like some of 13's episodes. Because I love that point about oh, they they care about them being born, but once they're born, like that made sense. That made sense to Ruby because that's what's happening. Ah, oh, love it. And then about the refugees. A refugee needs to get to the planet, to the place. They can't just be scooped up. These are poignant themes that are relevant to us. But at the same time, we're not being skewered by it. It is there for the people who will get it. Okay, this was such a great start. I love it. I love it so much. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Please like and subscribe. Join my Discord, support me on Patreon. And I'll see you for the next episode. Somebody's opinion.